Hold on, it says an alarm will sound. because like Parker saw her first and I know she lives in Vegas and I was like oh I wonder if we would if we're like run into Tana here and then I was like no probably not and then Parker texted me and was like oh I just saw Tana and then I was like what so we ran into her it was fun she's nice I love Tana yeah team Tana nice. number one fan we're at the airport we just got out of our uber <laughs> and normally we park in like the airport parking garage and it's so expensive and so Meg was like oh we should just park in like a hotel parking place like and then bag take bag an bag uber bag my backpack yeah. I got some so camera big. equipment in there. <laughs> but yeah, so we did that. I haven't been in an Uber in like forever. If you guys want a free ride, you can use the code 1FSBE. Check it out. But yeah, so we did that. So hopefully Meg's car doesn't get like towed or something. I don't know. So this trip. Oh my just gosh. Took a turn guys. for the worst. We got here and we took an Uber here, like I said, and I the only way to check in on the kiosk thing was that you have to put in like your credit card. So I go to put mine in so I can like search our name. And I had a bunch of stuff, so I handed Parker my purse, and I was like, can you get my wallet out? And he's like, your wallet's not in here. And I was like, yes, it is, you're lying. And he's like, no, it's not. So my wallet's not in there. We're already a little bit later than we'd like to be. Like, Megan Ruger made it fine, but I was like, oh my gosh, like, where could it be? So I called the Uber. It wasn't in there. I had it when we were at Jamba Juice as we were walking out of the mall. I got some Jamba Juice, so I was like, I know it's not at the mall, so it must be in Meg's car at the Cosmopolitan, like 20 minutes away. So we get in another Uber. We can't find him for like 10 minutes. We finally go get it. It's in the car. We found my wallet. It's fine, but we missed our flight. We and missed our flight, guys. Literally, I mean, not literally. So we finally get here. We have 20 minutes. We try to check in on the kiosk, and it's like, oh, you're too late. So we go up to the desk. We're like, we're really late. We're going to try and just make it if we don't. Like, I don't know. And the guy's like, oh, we can't. And I was like, oh. But then there's a flight in two hours, which, like, I was looking up flights when we were in the car to see when the next one was. And it, it said it was at 8. So I was like, freak, that's going to suck if we, like, have to wait until 8 o'clock. Like, that's a long time. But we only have to wait two hours, which is, like, normally, that's, like, pretty normal. Like, an hour and a half, two hours is when we try and get here. But anyways, since we flew on a plane like a week ago, like a week ago, I was like thinking, I was like, oh, I've never missed a flight before. I wonder when I'm gonna miss one. I put the negative energy into the air, and a week later, I missed my first flight, and I literally was like so upset. Then it's Thursday afternoon. You wouldn't think security is like this busy, so we walked over here, and I was like, oh my gosh, no. And we have TSA pre-check, which is like where you just go through faster because they've done like a background check on you, but we don't know how to use it, so it's like it's kind of weird. It's like different for every airline, but anyways. <laughs> No line here, which made the whole situation okay. <laughs> so now I'm not that mad. I was just stressed out that I found my wallet, and I was just like, I wasn't embarrassed, but it's like the first time we're going on a trip with friends, like I lose my wallet and we miss a flight, like what? But yeah, they're on their flight, so we're gonna meet up with them later. We are at our gate, and normally once you get past security, we, which is over there, we fly out of the D gates, but today we're in the E gates. So I was thinking that we would have to like take the tram, get to the D gates, it takes like at least 10 minutes longer, but so we like got our tickets and stuff after they were like, oh that flight, like you're too late, we'll switch you to this next one. So we were like, okay, and then we got to the security line, it was way huge. We we're like, oh let's go see if they'll do our TSA pre-check. And like like I said, it's kind of confusing how to do it. Like I read that you're supposed to call the airline, we tried doing that, then we tried it said do it on their website, so we tried doing that, it wasn't letting us like check in or anything even like before we were late, so it's kind of like I don't know. We should, if you guys have TSA pre-check, tell us like anything you know about it because I think it's different for every airline. I don't know. But yeah, so we stood by the security line for like five minutes and then we were like, let's just go back and ask if they'll put the TSA pre-check like on our ticket. Because it has to be on your boarding pass 
but if so then we do that we get through pretty quickly and then we come out of security and i was like oh my gosh the e-gates are right here like their plane probably hasn't even taken off yet so if we had just asked for like tsa pre-check when we were first checking in and just hurried and gone through we literally would have made the flight and so now i'm like so annoyed yeah but that's all that i'm gonna say about it for the rest of the day and this is not complaining this is storytelling but i just like they're probably literally just like right there <laughs> we're here. We don't, we're not even super early. Like we board at 3.30 and it's like 2.30 right now. So like not a big deal. It's fine. I'm just happy that I found my wallet because I would have freaked out if I couldn't find it. But that's our story of the day. I lost my wallet. We missed an airplane. We missed and now we're going on another airplane. Yeah, Meg and Ruger are just going to take their own Uber. Obviously, they're going to be there before us. But they're going to take it to the hotel. And then meet up with them there i'm just like can't believe this is like the first time it happened it's like when we're with friends and like i mean it's not a big deal but obviously if you're traveling with friends normally you like travel on the same airplane she's embarrassed i'm really not that embarrassed it's an accident it's just so weird though because like my wallet like why would i have taken it out of my purse Good and not question. put it back why would you do that i don't know but it wasn't even like just sitting on the seat it was like in my shopping bag which is weird, like I don't know why I would have put it there. Cause I didn't put it there after Jamba Juice, like I don't put my wallet weird places, I always make sure it's in my purse. Anyways, that's all for the story of the day. Okay guys, so. This story just got guys, so Guys, it just good. got so much better than it already I was. Heard... Okay, so Aspen decides she wants to go over to the JetBlue. Jet has a flight that's leaving Yeah, like she wants to go hour. see if it's if it we can get on it. She walks away. Right as she walks away, I hear someone yell Aspen from behind us. I'm like, what the I heck? I thought I heard it, but then I'm like, I recognize no, the voice. I turn around, and it's Meg and Ruger. Why? Hey Where did Meg's you guys go? The freaking security thing took forever. We got here at like 2.05, and then they didn't say anything. So we went to E9, and then someone said something, and then it, the thing said Los Angeles, and we're like, wait, what? So I went and asked the lady, and she's like, oh, you missed your flight. You at need to go to E10. Yeah. I don't know, but this story just got so good. I Snapchatted it. If you guys have me added on Snapchat, you know that I post on there like once every six months. But I just Snapchatted it. We're not even sitting by each other anymore. So, uh, yeah, I'm vlogging and we're telling the story of how Ruger and Meg missed their flight. So tell us your guys' the side of the story. So you guys so, walked in at what time? 2.05. Our flight left at 2.20. So we walk in and we sit in at our gate. We're just waiting. And you're sure it was the right gate? Yes, yes it was E9. E9. You want to see your pass? We're yeah, sitting I do. there. <laughs> I need the and proof. And we look at this plane, and we're like, oh, this is to all Los Angeles. Oh, we're going to wait until nice. they take us. Wait, oh, yeah, we got like 10 minutes. I was like walking around to the shop. And, <laughs> like... and then, little did we know, that was actually our flight. So, yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> now we're together again. <laughs> the, so only reason, the, flight. the only reason we knew, though, is because a different guy was like, wait, was that the San Francisco flight? And she's all like, yeah, you missed it. And so we're like, wait, was that our flight then? Yeah, otherwise, we would still be sitting there waiting yeah, we would for our flight yeah. over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is all this just is worked like out then. This is good. This, this is, is like the best story trip. ever. Yeah, so okay. far, so good. Yeah. This is one for the books. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. This is a sign. This is, it's all just it's the universe out. working it itself out. out. Me and Meg are both on the phone. Like we're such girls, like calling our moms to tell them the story of what just happened to us. I just like cannot believe we're <laughs> sitting here with Ruger and Meg right now <laughs> after everything that just happened. Today was also, besides the fact, I mean now it all worked out so it's fine and I'm over it. But before that, um, I uploaded my travel diary video but it's not like public yet. I just uploaded it so I can Today is a rant it. day. Basically. We're not ranting. People always get, they're like, why are you complaining? It's like, we're not complaining. We're just telling you about life. Like these videos are about our lives and like life is not always perfect. We're not always happy when things go wrong. Like, yes, it's important to be positive, but like, you can't be positive all the time, you know? Anyways, I was already kind of annoyed because I uploaded my travel diary video. I spent all day working on it yesterday, like all day long, literally from morning to night. So I uploaded it, I think it's so cute, I love it. It's gonna go up. I was probably gonna put it up on Saturday, but now I'm not sure because I bought the license for the music so that I wouldn't get copyrighted so I could like use a full song without getting um, copyrighted. And it still copyrighted me. And I last time this happened to me, um, I texted my manager and was like, oh, I got copyrighted for this, but I have the license, like, can you 
or I don't know if it was my manager, it was like somebody at Sky Hall, but I was like, can you help me fix it? And they were like, yeah, so they took care of it, like, right then. But then I asked my manager again, and they were like, oh, this is like a third party copyright thing, so like, we can't do anything about it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I need this to like, not be copyrighted so that I can post it, but I don't really even like, know what to do. here we're walking around we checked into our hotel so yeah we're hey, just baby. walking around Let we're gonna go to Union them. Square but anyways yeah we're gonna go get something to eat I just looked on Yelp to find some like restaurants and stuff and I couldn't find anything that sounded super good so we're just walking up the street me and Meg said Cheesecake Factory sounds good so we're totally branching out of our norm yeah testing Look out the San Fran suit we will we just gotta do we just need to find some places that we like we should have done that before we like we're walking around outside but what do you think babe I'm like I didn't realize that San Francisco was like such a big city like I, I feel like it's in New York almost but smaller you know obviously but I didn't realize it was this big, and so I'm kind of caught off guard, but I love it. I'm having so much fun. So we finally found the Cheesecake Factory. I didn't even see the sign. I'm glad you saw it. I know. It's like on the seventh floor of like a Macy's, so I was so confused when we were walking. But yeah, since this isn't super adventurous and different, um, we're, we're all getting um, different things that we usually get <laughs> so that we can be adventurous and stuff. All right, we got Avocado egg rolls. These are river and mix. But you guys are going to taste. We're going to taste. I don't like, like avocado. avocado. The texture is like just, it just weirds me out. I didn't know. I can't tell a week ago. And the people in my work made me try it. And now I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I ate guacamole once and then I got sick. So ever since then I ate an avocado. Oh, I don't know if I can do it. Do it. You have to. No, I'll you have to. You. you said you would. I will. I'll I just want to share it one with you. I won't eat a whole one. Uh, well, we won't like that. Do you like it? So, uh, yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. It's good. So me and Meg got our food. I got this salad to try. Meg has some chicken, some potatoes, some broccoli, some roast beef, some chicken, a pizza. And you guys don't have yours yet. Dang it. Oh, what? Hold on, it says an alarm will sound. Let's look and see if there really is something that would allow an, an alarm to go off. Yeah. Oh. Free. There really is. Dang it. There's some stairs that say, oh, it's locked anyway. There's some stairs that say that they lead to the rooftop of our hotel. So we decided to take them and try and get on the roof. Are you down to open the window? Whoa. No. I'm down to hop out. I'm down. Now we just found a window. So we, we, I think we're going to try and get through it. So we're trying to but we're trying to get on the roof of the building because it'll be really cool. So that's going to be it for the vlog today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It's going to be a good trip. I'm excited. It's already been a good trip from what we've done. We've been here for, what, three hours and we've had a lot of fun. So we'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Bye, guys.